my artistic name is Dysmorphic Baby, um, but I go by Baby. And I am originally from Mexico City, but I was raised here in Atlanta. I've been doing art probably about like four years now. Um, really, I think, well, like, you know, nonstop has been four years, but ever since I was a kid, I, I started doing art. Like, ever since I was a kid, I was obsessed with like coloring and stuff, so. I think most of my life. <laughs> well, when I was younger, when I was a kid, like I was obsessed with it. And I started going to school. Um, when I started going to school, it was a problem because that's all I wanted to do. Like kindergarten, I didn't want to like learn anything. I just wanted a color. Like as soon as I had a color like in my hand, a crayon and some paper, that's all I wanted to do. So that became a problem. and the teachers kind of took that away from me. So throughout like my school career, that went away. I wasn't able to be creative. Up until like I turned 18, that's when I decided I wanted to start like doing art again and fell in love with it. <laughs> this painting itself, um, it was originally inspired by like Gucci, the, the brand and everything. Um, I have a passion for fashion as well. Like I, I really like fashion, um, dressing up, styling, like I, I love it. Um, but I also feel like it has a little bit of like myself in it. Um, it definitely represents with like, you know, the image, her having like this draped over her like head. Um, it kind of gives like a little like religious like feel to it um, in, in my perspective and I feel like that just comes from like my background. Um, she, if you look at her, she has the figure of like a mother, like she, she gives you that. So I feel like that also comes from like, you know, I, I just, I, I love my mom to death. <laughs> like, so I feel like that's what it represents. And, um, you know, obviously the, the snake was to represent, you know, the, the luxury of the brand. Um, but it's, you know, it, it, it has background in the whole fashion thing as well. Um, definitely natural talent. You know, like I said, when I was younger, I used to be obsessed. It was just like scribbles and then like, you know, but growing up, I did like my brothers, they did like draw. And I used to, I remember I used to watch my brother drawing and I used to think to myself, like, I wish I could do this. Like, you know, I think that's so cool. Um, never did I actually think that I could actually draw like, things for like myself that actually look like something um you know so i think that just like comes from like within me you know and i when i first started painting um it was like a natural thing it was kind of like you know i kind of knew what i was doing without knowing what i was doing so i it would say it's natural for me I would say just be open with it. Like, just be as open as you want. Um, express yourself as much as you want. And, you know, don't be afraid to, like, be judged by, by whatever it is that you create. <laughs> I didn't sell my first art piece up until probably, like, the second year of me, you know, taking art seriously. Uh, one of my paintings was featured in a short film um, by uh, one of my friends. She was uh, she started creating like little short films, and um, it actually made it into this. Um, I forgot what it was, but you know, it, it made it into like a little exhibition theme. And um, my art was featured in that film. It was like a glow in the dark film. Uh, when she did the preview of the film, like it was a private, you know, viewing and everything. Uh, when she did that, she also auctioned like the paintings. And one of my paintings sold, which was my very first painting that I ever sold. Um, I get attached to my paintings, so I don't like selling them uh, like often. I do create prints and like, you know, merch out of my art, but the originals, I just get too attached to them. So that was the first time I sold a painting and that's probably like one of the very few I've sold. <laughs> um, no, as of now, no. Um, 
earlier in my art career, I did used to work like at an art studio, and I would say that would be one. But as of now, I'm just doing my own thing. <laughs> I would love to be a part of Bunda. So far, with like my art, um, I create paintings like that on canvas. Um, I do murals around the city as well for anybody that needs murals. I also created a purse line that, you know, it's a, they're small purses and they are designed by me. They have like some of my art in them, like it's a one of a kind. The next thing for my art, I want to create a clothing brand that has art and, you know, fashion mixed into one. So that's the best, well not the best, the next best thing for my art that's coming up um, so far. <laughs> the mural, one of the murals is in uh, south, on the south side, it's in Riverdale. It's actually a whole uh, music studio. Um, the whole inside of it, I designed it, created it, um, glow in the dark. So the whole inside is just, everything is like the walls are just painted in glow in the dark um, art. So yeah, that would definitely be a cool one to go last <laughs> You can follow me on Instagram at um, DysmorphicBB and you could also follow like my purse page, um, you know, um, I drop some purses every like month. So you could also follow that, that's uh, Borsalino um, underscore BB, I think. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm actually working on a website where I can sell like my merch, so for now I don't have that yet, <laughs> but that's coming up. <laughs>